this part's clickbait. Shows you an image and boiling water with eggs and something about cleaning your bowel. So you click on it to find out what's happening. Then, when you do that, it goes to a page that looks like this. Some sort of method of doing something that some heart doctor is telling you about. All right. So then, uh, you read a little bit of information, and then it gives you uh, about research and some doctor, some such thing, and then it says, watch the video. So there's the eggs again. All right. So you click on it, and starts up a video that video then goes for almost an hour what this video is all about is this guy that reckons that if you eat vegetables and legumes or whatever they're called uh, that's actually bad for your health which is quite contradictory to what everybody else has been saying but this guy goes on to say all that sort of thing so uh, you think, well, this is going against everything else I've, I've heard, uh, so I'll investigate a little bit more. So, uh, you keep going on, and there's actually nothing to lose, etc. Go to the next step. So you click on the next step. It says, are you a man or a woman? What age are you? All right. Why do you want to try out this particular product? It doesn't matter how you answer the questions. It always takes you to the next step, which is where you order the product. So from the clickbait, we've got to a situation where it asks you to order a particular product. And this is how much the product costs. $134.85 US dollars. It would seem there are multiple versions of this advertisement on the internet. This one is slightly different from the previous one. Actually, it tells you there that the person that's doing that is a doctor, and he's actually a heart surgeon, but not a nutritionist. Uh, interesting thing that it says here, one part here. It says, if we zoom in a little bit, we'll have a look at it. It says, information on this website has not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, or cure, or prevent any disease. Does that mean it doesn't prevent any condition as well? And condition's not a disease? Let's have a closer look at this 100% money-back guarantee. The doctor says that we work hard to formulate the most advanced products on the market. Our 90-day customer satisfaction guarantee is designed to give you ample opportunity to experience optimum results for the product completely risk-free. But if you go into the terms and conditions of their website or their products and you find the return policy, which I'm scrolling down to find now, there we are, return policy, and we zoom in a little bit there, it says we offer a 90-day money-back guarantee on all products purchased through our website. Your guarantee comes in effect on the day your product is shipped from our fulfillment centre and expires 90 days after the shipment date. The trouble with this is, on his video, the doctor says you have to try the product for a full 90 days to make sure if it works. And if it doesn't work, then you can send it back. The trouble is, after the 90 days, uh, the return policy doesn't apply. Therefore, the return policy isn't worth the electronic data it's written on. If this product was sold in Australia, which it isn't, it would also have to have a statutory warranty that basically said it has to be fit for purpose, in which case, regardless of the time involved, you could actually send the product back and get a full refund. But because it's not sold in Australia and it's sold in the US, therefore you can't do that if you buy it on the internet. But what about the product itself? The best way I can find information is to look it up on Wikipedia. So this is what I've done. So I've looked up this gentleman on Wikipedia and see what it says. One of the things you'll see that he has disputed claims, right? I won't read through the rest of it, uh, other than to say that if you look it up on Wikipedia yourself, you can find out, you can make your own judgment as to whether the product is worthwhile or not. If you go to the guy's YouTube channel, you see he's got heaps and heaps and heaps of videos all professing the same thing. 
but mainly promoting himself, his products, his books, etc. It just goes on and on and on and on. Probably hundreds of videos. It's still going. Interesting, even if I then do a search on videos debunking his theories, I do come up with some, but uh, there's still heaps more about uh, him himself. He seems to be the situation where if you uh, have more to sell, you say something often enough, people believe it, because you can find things that actually will debunk what he's saying. So is this item on the internet a scam? I'd suggest not. It's bordering onto a scam. It might have better off be described as a sharp practice, which Wikipedia describes as sharp practices or sharp dealings is a provocative phrase to describe sneaky or cunning behaviour that is technically within the rules of the law but borders on being unethical. I think this item would fit that description.